Interacting with Jasper is built on a credit system, like a video game, insert coin, play game, repeat. The more credits, the more fun. You can monitor your credits and usage inside your usage and billing tab in the app. You'll need to be aware of two types of credits. The first is plan credits. These are the monthly credits that are included with your monthly subscription. Each subscription plan is given a monthly credit amount that automatically resets at the start of each billing cycle, regardless of usage. These do not roll over to the next month, so use them up. For example, if you sign up for the $59 a month base plan, you will be given 50,000 words. If you generate 10 words or 10,000 words, the plan will refresh to 50,000 words at the start of the next billing cycle. You can adjust your plan's credits in your app's usage and billing section. Second are bonus credits. These are the credits that have been awarded by our team to you and added to your account manually. You can use these bonus credits after your trial or after you have used up your plan credits. Bonus credits will always roll over month to month until you use them up, so they don't go bad. You can earn bonus credits in several ways. Once again, view the usage and billing page in the app to learn more. For example, you can earn more free credits by referring a friend, leaving a review, and even by just attending a live 101 training with Jasper. Now that we know how credits work, let's clarify what a credit is. A credit equals a word. So each time you run a command, click the generate content button or click the compose button, it will count against your credit limit for the month. As you write content with Jasper, you're responsible for keeping track of your credit usage. You have access to this in the usage and billing section of your app. As you write with Jasper, the number will decrease in the usage and billing page. The number of credits you see is for what you have left in that remaining month. For example, if you write a command and run that command, what Jasper writes in response to that command will count against your credits. For reference, in the document editor, m output length is about 50 words. So if you are in a template and generate 10 outputs off of one input, all of those outputs will count against your credit limit for that month. Depending on which template you are using, these outputs could be longer or shorter. Right now, you can upvote or downvote Jasper's outputs and give feedback to our team. Downvoting, which is the thumbs down, will appear in a document editor or in the output of a template after composing content or running a command. If you don't like something Jasper wrote, let us know by downvoting that content and we'll refund those credits that you just generated. After you downvote, we recommend tweaking your input a little so that you don't get another output like that. Jasper does his best to write creatively for you, but sometimes needs a little guidance from you. If you're having trouble with tweaks and editing that input, reach out to our team and we'll be happy to help you troubleshoot through that. Be mindful, we only refund up to 20% of your credit limit for the month. So once you've refunded all of your credits for the month, you won't be able to refund anymore.